Emily Ratajkowski just said that she doesn't believe in straight people. The model told Harper's Bazaar that she thinks everyone is sexually fluid. She said, I think sexuality is on a sliding scale. I don't really believe in straight people. Last month, Emily went viral on TikTok for coming out as bisexual. She posted a duet to a TikTok asking, if you identify as bisexual, do you own a green velvet couch? And even though she didn't say anything, the actress filmed herself sitting on her very own green velvet couch. Since then, people in the comment section have been rejoicing at the news and writing things like, win for the ladies, and so many celebrity women are coming out and I just love it. Now, Emily has opened up about the viral video and whether or not she was actually coming out as bisexual by posting it. She said, my girlfriend came over and was like, have you seen this green couch thing? She was laughing at me because my green couch is so big. She then went on to talk about her sexuality and how it's related to her feminism. She said, I want to be able to have fun with how I present myself in the world without feeling like I'm a bad feminist or a good feminist. I don't want to be a part of your club if you don't want to have me. It's fine. Despite the fact that they split up back in July, the 31 year old said that she still feels anger toward her ex, Sebastian Bear McLeod, who allegedly cheated on her. She said, I can tell you that I have never been single before. I feel all the emotions. I feel anger, sadness. I feel excitement. I feel joy. I feel levity. Every day is different. The only good thing I know is that I'm feeling all of those things, which is nice because it makes me believe that it'll be okay. She added that her son's happiness and well being is now her top priority. The former couple share a one year old son together named Sylvester. She said, I've never had such clear priorities before in my life. Number one is Sly, and that's that. She said, motherhood shifted her perspective and made her reevaluate what's important. Emily has been married to Sebastian for four years, so there's no doubt that the split would have been hard on her. On September the 8th, she filed for divorce in Manhattan Supreme Court. Page six reported that the filing was contested, which means that the terms of the divorce have not been resolved. That same month, a source close to the model confirmed that the couple had broken up and that it was her decision. Quote, he cheated, he's a serial cheater, it's gross, he's a dog. Although Emily hasn't spoken out directly about her personal life, she suddenly confirmed the cheating rumors by liking several tweets, including one that said, Emrata, finally free from that man, just proves that God is actually very real. And it can't believe that little B cheated on Emrata. But it's not all that bad. In fact, it looks like Emily has gotten herself a brand new love interest and moved on with DJ Orazio Rizpo. They were first spotted together in New York on the 14th of October when they were photographed kissing in the street. Emily was wearing an all black off the shoulder outfit with red books, while Orazio wore a yellow shirt with a cord jacket and turned up gray trousers. People published photographs, adding that they were seen having dinner in New York City and seemed to be enjoying each other's company. Emily has also been linked to Brad Pitt recently, but whether that romance blossoms into something serious remains to be seen. She's also recently announced her newest business venture with her podcast called Hilo, which launches this week. It's set to cover a range of topics and have guest speakers on her show, and has been described as a mix of Call Her Daddy and Fresh Air. This move makes total sense because fans have been wanting her to create a podcast for quite some time. Amrata has gotten herself a massive following on TikTok, mostly for her tell it like it is feminist takes. In fact, she was one of the first celebrities to call out Adam Levine when he was exposed for cheating on his wife with Instagram model Sumner Stroh. Emily said, I don't understand why we continue to blame women for men's mistakes, especially when you're talking about a 20 something year old woman dealing with men in positions of power who were twice their age. The power dynamic is so skewed, it's ridiculous. Like it's predatory, it's manipulative, I can't imagine. In a second post, the 31 year old followed it up with, I think we have a huge problem in our culture right now when we say, oh men are monsters, they're terrible, they're horrible. Then we don't hold them accountable. We blame other women and ask women to adjust their behavior instead of just saying that men need to change their behavior. It's sexism, it's classic misogyny. So what do you think? Would you listen to her podcast? Let me know in the comments below and I'll catch you in the next video. Oh, 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 oh,